Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to determine the angles in a quadrilateral when given the sides. Determining the angles in a quadrilateral depends greatly on which kind of quadrilateral it is. Suppose I'm given this trapezoid. Now, because I know that angle C is a right angle, I know that angle B must also be a right angle because I have two sets of parallel lines and these two angles must be supplementary. To find these two, it's going to be a little more tricky. And I can get them by dropping this altitude down just like this, making a right angle there. And instead of a trapezoid, now I have a rectangle and a right triangle, which is going to be a huge asset for me in discovering these next two angles, A and D. Now if I know that this side is 5, and since I made a rectangle over here, I know that this altitude must be 4, I can use a trigonometric function to find angle D. And I have the side opposite to angle D and the hypotenuse, so I know that I'm going to be using sine. So I would do sine of angle D equals opposite 4 over hypotenuse 5, which is equal to 0.8. And now I would turn right back around and plug this 0.8 into an inverse sine function in order to get what angle D actually equals. So sine inverse of 0.8 is equal to approximately 53.13 degrees. So now I've just found angle D. And again, because it's a trapezoid and I know that the top and bottom must be parallel lines, I know that angle A must be supplementary to angle D which I can find by doing 180 minus 53.13 and it equals 127.87 degrees. And now I have all the angles in the trapezoid solved for. So I'm Drew Moyer and this was how to determine the angles in a quadrilateral when given the sides.